solve the system of equations using substitution. So here we are given two beautiful equations, and I'm going to label this. I'll say that's equation one, and this is equation two. And now it's being requested here that we use substitution. Now we looked out in this case. Notice how with equation two, this equation is already solved for y. So in order to solve by substitution, we are going to substitute equation two into equation one to remove all the y variables. So we're going to substitute equation two into equation one and solve for x. So in other words, I am replacing the y value of equation one with equation two. So here we go. Equation one will now become negative 2x plus 5, and I'm replacing that y with equation 2. So that's going to be 5 multiplied by 3x minus 13 equals negative 13. So notice we've removed all the y's, and we can solve for x. Woohoo! So to solve for x here, I'm going to take 5 and distribute it through to both terms, which leaves us with a minus 2x plus 15x. So 5 times negative 13 gives us a minus 65 equals negative 13. And let's see, we have two like terms that we can combine on the left-hand side. We have negative 2x plus 15x gives us 13x minus 65 equals negative 13. So we can now go ahead and add 65 to both sides of our equation. And we see 65 minus, or minus 65 plus 65 cancels itself out to zero, leaving us with 13x is equal to, so we have 65 minus 13, which leaves us with 52. And then last but not least, to isolate x. We are going to divide both sides of this equation by 13. So 13 divided by 13 simplifies to 1. And we have x is equal to 52 thirteenths. So we know that 52 is equal to 13 times 4. So our 13s will cancel ourselves out or cancel themselves out, leaving us with x is equal to 4. Woohoo! So we have the first component or the first coordinate of our solution point, x equals 4. So now we need to use this to find the corresponding y coordinate. Before I move up too far, we can now take this x value and substitute this into either equation. So we can substitute x equals 4 into either equation. Now, since equation 2 is already solved for y, might as well substitute it into equation 2. So we substitute x equals 4 into equation 2 to find y. So this will become y is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 minus 13. So we have 12 minus 13, which leaves us with negative 1. So y is minus 1. So we have the coordinates of our solution point. So therefore the solution of the system is the ordered pair xy is equal to 4 negative 1. And that is our beautiful final answer.